morning. I'll be honest, uh, I'm going to do a little video diary of uh, this year's hunt. Hopefully first big backcountry hunt for elk. Bud and I are here side of our local big mountain. A little late this morning. It's almost 7. Sun's been up for maybe an hour. Uh, hopefully get a little glassing in. Glassed a bit earlier from the earlier ridge. Nothing yet. Um, I'll give you guys a little panorama of what we're looking at, but uh, this is where we're hoping to be. In the middle of September, um, uh, July 12th, first time I'm in the backcountry this year. Um, been busy fishing, but uh, happy to get out and uh, try to find some elk. Get a little early season training in. Um, been running, been mountain biking, shooting my new bow. Thanks, Jay. Every day. Um, yeah, stay tuned for more. All right, here's a little panorama the drainage that I'm planning on hunting this fall. First time in here, July 12th. Uh, like I said earlier, it's uh, a little late in the morning, about uh, 7. Still hoping to spot somebody, something crawling around. We'll see. Um, see down here in the bottom. Beautiful meadow, a lot of nice high country basins. We're in one of our local wilderness areas, and uh, pretty happy to be here. All right, Jay, here's my first uh, video blog entry. Let's see if this works. Uh, we're about five or six miles in. Mud and I, uh, probably four, four to five on trail, another mile off. Uh, in the drainage that I'm hoping to hunt this fall, uh, as you can see, absolutely drop dead gorgeous elk country. Uh, my first time in here. Well, I was here once about 10 years ago, lost, but uh, <laughs> this time I'm here on purpose. Really happy to see the mix of uh, aspen and timber. Uh, you see the fine beetles not too bad in here, but uh, killer looking elk country. Glass up a couple deer, maybe one elk at this range, just with the sight. Um, I'm not 100%. They keep weaving in and out of the timber. Um, we'll keep saving the pennies for that spotting scope. But uh, yeah, here we are, July 12th, getting ready for elk season. Pretty fired up. All right, scouting mission number one. Uh, we're up here probably, I'm guessing, 11,000, maybe 11,500, right at tree line. Just spotted our first elk in the morning. Looks like a four-pack. I'm guessing at least two or three miles away. Uh, again, can't tell if they've got anything sprouting out of their head, but we're just going to hope it's a nice four-pack of monster Colorado backcountry bulls that will be here in the fall. All right, so my plan was to uh, side hill this uh, and kind of work across um, and chase the elk where they might be. Um, as you can see, it's steep, big, loose, scree field. Uh, definitely slippery footing. I'm gonna have to change the plan on that one, and uh, you know, either come in lower or uh, maybe come in higher next time we're in here. Is obviously not where you want to be packing a camp on your back and possibly packing an elk off of the side of this baby. Wow, if this doesn't look like a uh, big buck or ram perch, I don't know what does. Uh, we're overlooking the upper end of the drainage. Uh, you can see it splits back there. 
hopefully we won't have to be heading that far, but uh, in the end, that's going to be where we're going to have to go if we need to, and uh, I'm guessing we're going to be about 15 miles in at that point. So, uh, almost 9, we're uh, on our way out, we're tuckered out, um, got to look at a lot of country today, saw a few elk, saw a few deer, um, limited time today. Hopefully next time when we get back in in a couple of weeks, we'll, uh, we'll stay the night and uh, maybe actually be able to pop into some of these holes and uh, learn the country a little bit better, um, see if we can't start looking for some sign and, uh, you know, take out some spots, mark some wallows on some GPSs and so on and so forth. So, uh, hope you enjoyed uh, my little video diary chronicle of the uh, 2009 backcountry bow hunt central Colorado um, stay tuned for more peace